Santiago is a really great city. In fact, we've spent this past month really exploring the different areas and it basically has everything from the mountains to go skiing and the rivers to go whitewater rafting on, um, but then also certain cultural areas where you can go to artisan markets and um, you can go to the highest point in the city and ride a sort of vehicular that takes you up and you get to see the entire city and the 360 view of the Andes is just, it's, it's incredible. It really is. The, there really are just an outside the Defensa Dia too. It, it's just such a great background to have. It's just changed my idea of what South America is. Uh, it's very European and American at the same time, uh, which was a little surprising to me. Um, but at the same time, it's still very Latin American. Uh, I've realized that every single country is, is different. Um, Chile is not like Argentina. Peru is not like Chile. Um, and none of them are like Mexico. The program has been has been amazing. I mean, even the what 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 the program has been able to organize in a two month period has been has been great. We've had substantive classes that have certainly added to our understanding of the law, not only in the U.S. but also uh, on an international scale. And then we've we've all had substantive internship experiences as well that that are all unique and they've they've added another dimension to our legal education. Um, and at the same time, we've had plenty of opportunities for cultural activities and. Of course, we've developed really strong friendships and everything too. So it's been it's been a great experience, and I can't believe it's it's almost over that we've been here two months already. But here, it's been more of a, a grown-up experience, a little bit, um, because now that we're doing our internships and you know not just studying, um, I've learned a lot about just politics and culture, um, ideas, and. It's just, it's been a more grown up experience, which I've enjoyed a lot. I love Santiago. It's, uh, it's a beautiful city. It's, uh, the people are great. There's lots to do. There's lots of outdoor activities that you can do on the weekends, different places that you can travel, and it's been a great city to live in. Santiago is amazing and it's really modern, which uh, is maybe one of my first experiences traveling in a modern um, city, so um, most of the amenities that I'm used to at home were available here, so it wasn't big culture shock if you're not used to traveling and roughing it too much, it's a pretty comfortable transition. I've gone to Peru to visit Machu Picchu. I have drove through there. I've sandboarded, I've skied, I've whitewater rafted. I mean, there's nowhere else I don't think that you could go and do all of that in a two month span. I've been to Buenos Aires and Argentina. I went to Uruguay, boated over there. I mean, I've studied abroad a lot of places in Africa. I've been to the UK, Europe. I mean, it doesn't compare, I don't think. For the, within this two month span, I can do so much that I couldn't do anywhere else. I'm located and interning in the Public Defender's Office and I've been able to go with them to everything from the uh, accused being arrested and them getting interviews to the hearings um, after that and then to the trials and also to the appeal court. So I've seen all of it, I've talked to judges, I've gone to other uh, courthouses outside of Santiago, I've been able to get a tour of the courthouse, I've been to the judges chambers, I've seen where they take in the accused, I've also been to the women's jail. Um, where they keep the prisoners when they're accused before trial and then once they're convicted I, I went also to that prison too, um, which I haven't even been to those prisons in the U.S. I uh, work at La Fiscalía Nacional and 
la Unidad de Cooperación Internacional y Extradiciones. Um, so we look at a lot of uh, extradition cases, which again is right up my alley because not only are we dealing with Chile, but we're also dealing with countries around the world. Um, and we've also been introduced to every single unit in uh, the Fiscalía Nacional. And the Fiscalía is the, the, the Attorney General's office, pretty much. Um, they're the one who prosecute criminals here in Chile. I would totally recommend this trip to anybody, especially after your first year of law school. It's a great opportunity to get legal experience um, without really even having to apply for, for a job. You get placed in really amazing um, places, you meet a lot of great people, you network with a lot of um, Chilean professionals that you'll know for life, and it, it really truly is the best experience I've had. So I would highly recommend it.